Hey everybody, it's Aurora from Aurora's Apothecary and today I am making elderflower toner for your face. And um, so I wanted to come out and gather some of my elderflower blossoms. As you can see, some of them are blossoming right now and some are just beginning. And this is actually a bush that I have on the south side of my house. So it's my first one to blossom. And I don't know, I'm sure you guys can't tell from the film, but this is actually growing just out of the crack in my sidewalk. So it has no soil or anything. So you can see that the elderflower, um, the elderberry tree just really, really wants to grow. So I've got my clean barrel here and I'm going to pick some elder blossoms. And I'm gonna cut them. And what I really want is the actual blossoms. I mean, I can put some of the green part into my toner also. Now I don't want to cut all the blossoms off because when the blossoms are done, these turn into my elderberries. And um, as much as I love the blossoms, we really, really need those elderberries. We make a lot of great medicines out of them. So I'm going to cut some more of these and then we'll get into the lab and show you what's next. Now I've got my clear glass jar here. So we're going to make elderflower toner today. So we're going to start with the elderflower. Um, here I've got my fresh blossoms. I'm going to try to get as much of them in without getting a lot of the green. So that's going to go off to the side. And then I'm also going to use some dried elderflower today. Last year I harvested quite a bit of elderflower and um, I made all my toner and then I had some still sitting. And so I'm going to also put that in. Let's see, I got all my fresh. And then this is our dried stuff from last year, Elderflower 2019. You can see quite a difference in the fresh and the dried. You think they're small flowers fresh? They are very small flowers <laughs> dried. They dry up to barely anything. So we're gonna stick about a cup in here. Now I'm going to fill it, not all the way, um, but we're going to put our witch hazel in here. That is our main ingredient. And we want to at least cover the blossoms. So this is our toner. So witch hazel is an astringent. So the witch hazel will take on the properties of the elder flower and then the elder flower will get filtered out of here. And then I will also add some glycerin to it. Glycerin is great on the skin. I just add a little bit. It's um, very hydrating. And then when this is all done and filtered, we'll add the rose water to it. Uh, rose water is a traditional astringent and toner. It is great on all types of skin. And um, then I also add, I'm gonna get these all nice and soaked in there. If I had a top on here, I could just shake it around and it would all happen. So you can see it's even changing color so far. And then the last ingredient that I'll add are some great essential oils. So because this is a nice rose water toner, um, I like to add rose geranium and rose wood, and then I also add frankincense and a little bit of lemon for that great skin care. So coming to you from the garden and the lab, making elderflower facial toner. This is Aurora's Apothecary. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.